Good morning, Linda Gators and Educators. Today is Happy Wednesday, October 14th, 2020. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to a republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Thank you, Ms. Jessica. Follow along as I, as I repeat the pledge and promise of Glinda Elementary School. I pledge and promise to do well in school. I, I pledge and promise to do well in school. In school. To listen to my teachers. To listen to my teachers. To help my parents. To help my parents. To graduate from high school. To graduate from high school. To go on to college. To go on to college. And finish college. And finish college. Absolutely. That's what we want, boys and girls. Everyone going to college. The weather today will be sunny and 70 degrees. Recess ideas. Go for a walk with your family. Read a book outside. Play games such as stacking cups, painting, coloring, or create fun designs with sidewalk chalk. Thank you, Ryan. Lunch and independent work time. School lunches are free for all students. Lunch can be picked up at the school or any school close to you on Monday and Wednesdays, 10 a.m. to 1 o'clock p.m. Check our website for more information. And one more time, lunches are what, ladies? Free. Free. <laughs> That's right. We want to see everyone. Please stop by the school and pick up your free lunches. And now it's time for our Wednesday movement. We're going to get up. We're going to twist it out a little bit, get ready to start our academic school day. So please stand up with us and get ready to move. It's small group time. of children celebrate it's a wonderful world and a beautiful day hold a hand swing and sway it's a wonderful world and a beautiful day birds are flying Dances are bopping. Dances are bopping. Rabbits are hopping. Rabbits are hopping. Rise up, children, celebrate. It's a wonderful world and a beautiful day. That was awesome. That's a great way to start the day, isn't it? Loved it. Yes. You enjoyed it? <laughs> Sophie. Shout out from Mr. K and for one of our student, our special students. Let's listen. Yes. See who Mr. K is shouting out today. I want to give a shout out to Jasmine in fourth grade this week. The assignment was create a storyboard of their favorite book and use Adobe Spark to create a book trailer. And I am thoroughly impressed with her work because I posted this on the weekend. And before she even came to class, it was already done. And on top of that, she didn't just pick a book that she already knew. She actually created her own story. So check out her storyboard. And without further ado, check out her video 
of her storyboard as a book trailer. Jack Rabbit by Jasmine C. This is a story about a little rabbit named Jack who lived in a tree near a river with his mom and dad. One day, he went to find some herbs for supper when he finds a tulip. He decides to take the tulip back home. On his way home, he saw his friend Tortoise. Hi, they said. Before they arrived to Jack's home, they gathered a lot of herbs for supper. With the herbs that he collected, his mother made him a nice bowl of fresh soup. Way to go, Jasmine. That's pretty cool. Guys, let's give Jasmine a high five. Everybody high five her. Way to go. Good job, Jazz. We're still continuing doing National Hispanic Heritage Month. This is a video from National Hispanic Heritage Month. Bienvenidos a Sesame Street! And welcome to Sesame Street! What's going on yeah. here? Well, haven't you heard? It's a Latino street festival. Both my parents were born in Mexico, so that makes me Mexican-American. My parents are from Puerto Rico. Our language is the one thing Latinos have in common, even though we come from so many different places around the world. Hablan español en Perú? Sí, hablamos español en Perú. Hablan español en Cuba? Sí, hablamos español en Cuba. Dominican Republic, Chile, and Peru. They speak Spanish in these countries, and that's just to name a few. There's Guatemala, Nicaragua, Cuba, and El Salvador, Colombia, Bolivia, Honduras, and Ecuador. But that's not all, there's even more. Puerto Rico, Costa Rica, every chico, every chica speak a language that's the same. Like the one they speak in Spain. There's people who speak Spanish down in Mexico and Uruguay. Argentina, Venezuela, Panama, and Paraguay. And all across the we come from all around, we're not so different from each other, cause at least we can all speak and español to one another. We come from all around, we're not so different from each other. We come from all around, we're not so different from each other. What is the Spanish word for amazing? Estupendo! Oh, that was estupendo. I like that. Birthday time! Birthday time! Let's see who we're going to celebrate today. We have jo Josephine Conte. In fourth grade. Arzo Hashimi. In third grade. Tizaram Onua. In kindergarten. And to round it out, we're celebrating one staff member, Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee works in Ms. Roberts' class, first grade class. Mr. Lee's not in first grade, but he works in first grade. Happy birthday, everyone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everyone. Our amazing Gator announcement assistants are... Delphi Gonzalez in second grade. Jessica Gonzalez in fifth grade. Helen Hamid in fifth grade. And again, you know who I am. Thank you, ladies. Morning announcers needed for January. We are looking for students' interest in helping us with the morning announcements. Have a fun fact to share. Want to be the weather announcer for a day? Email Ms. Porterfield or Dr. Ingram. Great job. Thank you, Jessica. 
always feeling this something wonderful is to is about to happen learning is fun happy wednesday everyone absolutely and we're gonna see you all in your zoom room Have a good day, everyone. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye.